In this video, we provide the solution to question number four for practice exam number three for Math 1030, in which case we have the following important problem. We have six states and their respective populations given here. This number here represents uh, thousands of people, so that would be 45 Point three thousand, and we have 130 seats that have to be apportioned between them, uh, buses uh, for specific routes to be more precise. Um, and so we have 130 buses that we have to distribute amongst these things. And so what I ask us to do is if each route is apportioned their lower quota, what would then be the surplus? Because after all, like Hamilton's method gives everyone their lower quota and then distributes the surplus by various rules. That's what we want to do right now. All right, so we first need to figure out the total population. So you're just going to take these numbers right here and add them together. Uh, this will turn out to be 130. Uh, that is 130,000, uh, which is really convenient because as the number of buses is also 130, if you take the quotient there, 130 divided by 130, which will give you the standard divisor, this gives you one. So the idea for this city is that we do one bus for every thousand passengers, okay? Uh, and as such, uh, we then want to do the lower quota. We are going to take each of these numbers and divide it by the standard divisor, uh, which is just one, just means you'll just get back the number itself. Um, rounding down, since we're doing the lower quota, you're going to get 45, 31, 20, 14, or 14, 10, and 8, for which if you add those together, you're going to get 128. Uh, if you subtract 130 and 128, that gives you a difference of two, and that is then the surplus number of buses. There's two extra buses that we would have to redistribute somehow. How we're going to do it doesn't matter. The question doesn't ask about that. It just asks what the surplus is, which is these two buses.